you'd fallen down on the job. Mr. Green Archer. You know, Whitington, heretofore, whenever a Bellamy found himself in serious trouble, legend has it that the Green Archer always came to his aid. I wonder why he didn't help that brother of mine. My, my, how unfortunate. Never in my time has a Bellamy brought dishonor to the name. And not before your time, either. In both this and the old country, the name of Bellamy has always stood for everything that's proud, just, right. Now it's been dragged in the gutter. I'm glad my father's in his grave. Abel, you're bitter. Michael has hurt only himself. Your father's will plainly sets forth that he must occupy the castle five consecutive years before title is transferred. Well, that was an effort to curb the wildness of the young fool, but it failed. Of course, of course. And now his <clears throat> sojourn with the state makes it possible for you to take possession of this wonderful place. Abel! Is it necessary to have all this All right, fuss? Whitington, all right. Did you ring, sir? Yes, Savini. Quiet those hounds. They annoy my attorney. I should say they do. Very good, sir. I'll attend to it at once. What are dogs doing in Gar Castle? Watch dogs, my friend. Very good ones. Vicious ones. Vicious. Well, why do you need? It's my intention to keep everyone away from this place. Everyone. See here, Abel. You're tossing away an established business. Your father made a fortune importing antiques and displaying them here. Surely you're not going to sacrifice it. I'm giving it up. After what happened here, I hate the place and everything connected with it. My, my. What a pity. Look! Well, what is it? The Green Archer. There's nothing there. Well, I saw the Green Archer. You're letting our discussion of the Bellamy legend get under your skin. Uh. Uh, I'd better be going. It's a long ways to the city. Shaping up, Savini. We'll soon give the police something to really worry about. Oh, there's the bell. See who it is. And remember, I don't talk to reporters. Yes, sir. You're not going to let her stay here, are you? Why not? She's my dear brother's wife. She appeals to my generosity. She must live somewhere. I don't like it. With her here, we'll be watched every minute. She might find out something. And if Michael is granted a new trial and wins out, all you say is true. If it happens. But it won't. I'll phone the castle. Yes, Governor. Dickie Stone is at service, ready to go. Flash all my men. Come at once. Grave importance. Get that? Come as done, Governor. I'll be on the air in a flash with a flash. Why the hurry call? Maybe the job's off. The job's perfect. I cased it myself. It must be something else. You know anything, Dickie? I ain't talking for the governor. I only sent out the call. Well, we'll soon know. Here he comes. Good evening, men. Yes, sir. Good evening. Thanks for your prompt answer to my call. 
if it was necessary. Nothing wrong with tonight's job, I hope? Certainly not. Everything will proceed as planned. It's just another job more important to our future. Concerns a train leaving the Union Station at 10.10 tonight. Howdy, Mr. Harker. Hello, Frank. Department B this time. They're friends of mine. Another poor devil leaving the world behind. That's Michael Bellamy. He's going up for 20 years. Tough, eh? Sorry I had to use these outside. Rules and regulations, you know. Sure, I understand. You can talk with your wife for a moment or two. I'll wait here alone. Thanks a lot. My name is Holland, Spike Holland. Oh, yes, I've heard of you, Mr. Holland. Investigator with the Tri-State Assurance Company. Yes. But with this uh, cycle of jewel robbers, you must have been pretty busy lately. Buddy, I'd just like to give Mike a few do's or don'ts while he's up at the big house. Uh, he's an amateur, you know. It's okay with me. You still have a moment or two. Thank you. Yeah. Buck up, Mike. Don't let that place get you. It's going to be tough, but I know you can take it. And we'll get you out sure as shooting. You can depend on it. I'll never stop trying. I know that, Spike. And it helps a lot. I'm not troubled about myself. And I am worried about Elaine. Oh, don't be silly, Michael. I'll join Dad and Sis. I'll be perfectly safe with them. And Spike and I'll be working together. Sure we will. I'll keep your chin up. I'll just take a taxi up to Dad's apartment. I'll be seeing you. Thanks a lot. I hated to lie to Spike, Michael, but, well, if he knew what I intended to do, he'd try to stop me. I'm not sure we shouldn't tell him. If Abel had an inkling that we suspected him, there's no telling what he would do. But we know he's at the bottom of this trouble, and, and I intend to prove it. Sorry, folks. It's about time for the train to leave. All right, she's coming. There now, dear, you have to go. <laughs> Ah, uh, forget it, Bellamy. I know crooks, and I'm betting my hat you anyway. Taxi? Taxi lady? Yes. Where to, lady? Golf Castle in Gorchester. Do you know where it is? Quite a distance, but I know the way. I used to take a lot of people up there in the old days. Hop in, lady. get used to anything, even spinach. <laughs> All right, come on, let's beat it. We don't want to be questioned. Everything under control. Plan worked out okay. Tracks covered? Oh, sure. They can't trace a thing to us. Swell. Well, Savini, we're over the first hurdle. Michael Bellamy will never get his new trial. There's no need of it now. Bellamy don't live here no more. I thought you knew that. This place is haunted. Well, where does he live? Right next door. Then drive me there. Yes, ma'am. Hey, lady, go ahead. I'll bring the bag. It's 
her, all right. Good. She mustn't suspect anything. Go make her welcome. Overdo it a little. I'm Elaine Bellamy. Y yes, I know. Mr. Raven is expecting you. Oh, don't bother about that. I'll take care of it. He's waiting. Thank you. Ditch that taxi cab. Oh, my dear Elaine. How glad I am to see you home again. Oh, I know you and Michael used to live in the castle, but I couldn't stand the place. I'm sure you'll find this very comfortable. You're very kind, Abel. I hate to bother you, but I have no other place oh, to forget go. Forget it, Elaine. After all, you're one of the family. You belong here. Oh, uh, Savini, show Mrs. Bellamy to the West Room, then have supper prepared. Oh, no, don't bother, please. Oh, there's no bother at all. Now, you just run along and take off your coat and come back for a bite. I want to hear your plans for Michael's appeal. Uh, this way, Mrs. Bellamy. Thank you. Today's been a terrible ordeal. I quite understand. Had Michael been reasonable, I would have been there. Oh, I suppose you're surprised to see me living here instead of the castle. Frankly, I am. I thought all the Bellamy's loved the place. I did. But I've grown to hate the place since Michael's trouble. I want to forget it. I've closed it to the public. A place uncared for soon decays. Perhaps you'd care to see for yourself. Yes, I would. I'm sure you exaggerate. I'll get a wrap. Oh, it won't be necessary to go outside. Come. Why, where does this lead? Why, to the castle, of course. After all, it does contain things of value. I can't afford to lose touch with it entirely. Perhaps I'd better go first. Go ahead. Savini speaking. Listen. Yeah, right, Savini. It'll be fun. The place is full of such pitfalls. It was only by accident that I discovered. Perhaps we'd better go back. No. No, I'm not afraid. It's better for me to see all the traps so I can avoid them. I expect to see a lot of this castle. It was my home. Not much change here. With a little imagination, I could see Michael seated here at the desk. Oh. What is it? There, the green archer. There's nothing there. Look for yourself. You're letting that imagination you speak of carry you away. It wasn't imagination. I saw the shadow of a man against that wall. I'm afraid Michael has filled your head with the Bellamy legend of the green archer. Surely you're too intelligent to believe in any such fairy tales. Oh, it's no fairy tale. It's deadly real. You're not fooling me, Abel. You don't want me here. You're trying to frighten me. I don't frighten you easily. Lane, you're crazy. I would... Why pretend? I know you've always hated Michael. I'm convinced you're responsible for having him put away. And I'm here to prove it. I admire your courage and your frankness. But it'll do you no good. By your own admission, Mike is the only one who knows you're here. And he's in no position to tell anyone. He'll find a way. I'm afraid not. Your Michael is dead. <gasps> Killed in the wreck of the train that was taking him to prison. No. No, I don't believe it. In the meanwhile, because of your threats, I'll have to keep you here. Forever, if necessary. You wouldn't dare. I'm leaving now. Get out of my way.
attention tonight. Oh, just another woman who insists on flashing a fortune in jewels. Oh, well, you should complain. If it wasn't for women like her, you wouldn't have a job protecting them. Right, but this new robbery cycle has cost my firm plenty. Well, why don't you uh, get the police to give them protection? That'd be just dandy. That's supposed to be my job. Well, you better get at it, because that silver throne soprano is about on her last notes. <laughs> See if we're being tailed. The boss was right. That dick is following us. Well, that's nothing to worry about. Here, signal number seven. It looks like your company's due for another payoff. That isn't all. Looks as if one spike hauling, meaning me, is due for a layoff. Get 
get my crate on that thing. You're late, friend. The cops are stopping the cars on Highway 266. We have a detour around it. I allowed for that in my schedule. You're getting careless. Tender. Magnificent. Better than I expected. This is a hole worthwhile. All right. Break it down. We cut the stones, melt the settings as usual. Get at it so we can cash in on them. Righto. Well, Brent? Where's the rest of the loot? That's the lot. I double-checked. Didn't miss a thing. There was an emerald bracelet for 72 stone. If it isn't there, she wasn't wearing it. Wait, Brent. I haven't finished. But my message is short. You're through. See here, Bellamy, you can't... I don't accuse you of anything. Get out. All right. If that's the way you feel about it, I'm through. That was dangerous, boss, throwing him out like that. He knows plenty. He'll talk. Get us in a jam. Quiet. Stop crying before you're hurt. I have my plans. Dinky, come with me. Watch your step, and don't miss. Everything, Jake? I am. Do you recognize that? That's one of the pieces that was stolen last night. Did you recover the rest? No, only that. Where'd you find this? On the body of Lefty Brent. He was killed in an automobile wreck on Garchester Road last night. Garchester Road? Say, wait a minute, that may be a clue. That's the road that leads to Bellamy's castle. I don't get it. Oh, wait a minute, I don't either yet. Well, that must have been his share of the loot. No, I think not, Inspector. I knew Brent, he was a small-time crook. He wasn't big enough for kind of job like this. Yes? I have the Westmore apartment for you. Oh, thank you. Hello? Hello, I'd like to speak to Mrs. Michael Bellamy, please. Bellamy? There's no one here with that name, sir. Oh, yes, of course. I, I think you'll find that she's staying with her father, Mr. Parker Howard, and her sister, Miss Valerie Howard. This location is ideal, Mr. Howard. I was lucky to get it. Oh, it's lovely. Yes, isn't it? We can keep watch from here day and night. Only Bellamy's house is between us and Gar Castle. That he doesn't live in the castle? Evidently not. Big pardon, sir. All the luggage is taken care of. Is there anything else, sir? Yes, come here a moment. Mr. Howard, this is Henderson, your new butler. He comes well recommended. Thank you, sir. How do you do, Henderson? My daughter, Valerie. I don't believe you will find us hard to please. Oh, surely not, sir. My object is to please you, sir. I'll do my best. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Henderson. Thank you. I think you'll find he's a good man, Mr. Howard. What are we going to do? This delay is maddening. Not knowing where Elaine is. What has happened to her? Now, take it easy, Dad. I'm sure Spike must have a definite plan. I have. Everything points to Gar Castle as a starting place for an investigation. Then let's get the police. Tear the place apart and make Abel Bellamy talk. That's impossible, Mr. Howard. Abel Bellamy is a respected citizen, a man of wealth and position. We must have some proof. And that's why I've arranged for you to live here, so close to the castle. But I don't understand how living here near the castle will enable us to get any information. Don't you see? Just the fact you live close by will give Bellamy something to worry about. He may make a slip. Let's give it a try anyway. Perhaps you're right, Spike. We'll do everything you say, but only on condition that you remain here with us. That's understood. Michael is my best friend, Mr. Howard. I'm going to see this thing through. Splendid. Good. I'll run upstairs and get things settled. See you later, Valerie. Parker Howard and his daughter are these ladies now. And the fact that they have done this means that they suspect something. Come to the point, Sabini. You think that they suspect me of railroading Michael into prison and causing the disappearance of his wife, Elaine. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And it means that we'll be watched constantly. Right. And they will try to get into the castle. I will make it easy for them to do this. Send up the green archer. He's on his way up. He'll be right in.
Brad, this is the key to the castle. Deliver it to Lady's Manor tonight, in your usual way. Yes, sir. Start worrying, Savini. I get a kick out of it. <laughs> I'm tired now. I believe I'll go to bed if you'll excuse me. Good night, my dear. And don't stay out too late. Good night, Spike. And thanks a lot for what you're doing. Forget it. Michael was my best friend. I know, Valerie. We all are. Boy, that was close. Huh. Why, this is the key to the castle. I'll get down. Wait a minute. Pay no attention to that. It may be some kind of a trick. But it might not be. According to the family legend, the green archer should aid it. Don't jump at conclusions. Now that we have the key, I think we'd order you. Valerie, please let me handle it. Oh. Another one. What does it say? The Green Archer always protects the honor of the Bellamy's. There, didn't I tell you? That explains it. The Green Archer is a friend. It's all too convenient. I don't believe in fairy tales yet. The Green Archer? What does it mean? We'll find out soon enough. You stay here. You retired, Mr. Howard. No, I couldn't sleep. But why the revolver? What's all the excitement? That's what I'm trying to find out. Two arrows are shot through your window, supposedly by the Green Archer. Why, the Green Archer is merely a legend. But where's Dowry? Hi, George. Come on, quick. I was a fool to leave her alone. What do you mean? Someone shot an arrow into the room with the key to Gar Castle on it. A Green Archer? Maybe. I think she's taking the key and gone with the felonies. She wouldn't be so foolish. She isn't here, is she? You check the rest of the house and I'll head over there just in case. It's all right. She fell for it. She's on the ground. The boys are stalking her. Good. Very good. waiting for. Look closely now. Is that painting coming to life? These intriguing questions are answered in the face at the window. Next chapter of The Green Archer.